Good morning, friends. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm a mom. Courage to change, April 10th. Having lived with alcoholism, many of us have come to think of ourselves as innocent victims of other people's abuse. It can be shocking to discover that we too have harmed others. Listing those we have harmed, step eight, becomes a discovery process in which a more realistic sense of responsibility can begin to develop. In my case, however, the problem was not in recognizing the harm I'd done, but in letting go of my exaggerated sense of responsibility. I thought that everyone I ever knew belonged on my list, especially those who were disappointed in me. For example, my parents are unhappy with the partner I have chosen. My sister wants me to pay off her debts. My kids wish I'd let them stay out all night without calling. As I thought about this step, I realized that I am not responsible for their unfulfilled desires. So when I revised my eight step list, I needed to take off some names. Today's reminder, certainly I make choices that harm others and call for making amends, but sometimes a choice that is right for me may be uncomfortable or even unacceptable to others. Other people's expectations are not my responsibility unless I have help to create them. I can remind myself that conflict is part of life. The quote is from In All Our Affairs, quote, with this step, we sort out our part, taking responsibility for our actions, but also releasing ourselves from the burden of falsely held responsibilities, end quote. I'll read that again. With this step, we start, sort out our part, taking responsibility for our actions, but also releasing ourselves from the burden of falsely held responsibilities. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. April 10th. It's on sexuality. My sexuality belongs to me. Feeling sexual is part of how I am made, what I am created to feel. Feeling sexual is not wrong. Just because I feel sexual doesn't mean I have to act on it. I can feel sexual and still be responsible for my sexuality. Feeling is not the same as acting. If my feelings seem to threaten or overwhelm me, I will quiet the turmoil by treating myself with gentleness. I will give voice to my inner adolescent who is learning how to deal with sexuality. I am in charge of myself. I will allow no one else to tell me what to do, manipulate me into doing something I don't want to do, or ridicule me for my choices. My sexuality belongs to me and only me. It is a gift and I can share it with whomever I choose. I will rejoice in my sexuality this day. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans. <laughs>